from a science perspective, when you when a patient receives the postnatal uh, stem cells, um, what is happening with regards to amping up the your body's capability to regenerate as opposed to what it would normally do without that contribution in a procedure? The graft here is the key. Uh, the graft is actually bringing in resources and capabilities uh, from an external source into a patient who is pot potentially older and less capable of auto-regeneration, as, as, which happens to all of us as we age. That is really sort of the, the, the miracle that is presented um, when you're offering something that, and I'll list off a, a few key differentials, uh, differentiators uh, between the cells that you would get from your own body and the cells that you would get from a, uh, an allograft from postnatal tissue. So the fact that we're calling it an allograft is, is interesting. Um, graft is the key word. Uh, it, and grafting is essentially what we're doing when we're taking a postnatal donation and bringing it into a patient whose regenerative, auto-regenerative capabilities are diminished as, it, as is the case as we age. The difference, differences, the key differences uh, between a patient's own uh, stem cells and the grafted cells that come from postnatal donations are, number one, the secretome or the exudate. The things that are secreted by these cells are very different. They, they change as we age. They change with the cell type but certainly creating an entire human being over a period of nine months with all of the support tissue that makes that possible, the umbilical cord, the amniotic membrane, the placenta, uh, the, the cord blood, uh, all those things that are left behind and would otherwise be discarded, those things host uh, an amazing um, machinery uh, which includes cells that are secreting at a much higher rate regenerative and growth factors. Uh, Non-inflammatory, but growth factors. Non-carcinogenic, but growth factors that actually will have been able to create an organism in a short period of time. The, in addition to that, the number of divisions that remain in a cell uh, from the, the perinatal birth donation uh, is huge in comparison, orders of magnitude more, than the cells that we have in our own bodies, whether it's our bone marrow or adipose. So that's a huge difference as well.